there and welcome to my channel. I'm Steph and today we're going to get to know each other. And to do that, let's take things back to the beginning. This is our little Stephanie. Yeah, little Stephanie. Okay, not like the beginning beginning, but the beginning of video content. In 2005, my family transitioned from a VHS camera to a mini DVD camera. Best thing about it is that I'm doing myself. And that was a game changer. I gave myself a new title. The Filmer. You might think we're having fun. Tell you, this is my job. And I spent my time talking to an audience that didn't exist. I wanted to show you um, our little tree and stuff. And don't worry, Matt, if you saw that, that was a joke. Just remember, I am Stephanie Leet. Goodbye. And then things shifted to my grandmother's basement. We got the hay and the cow. The year is 2008. I'm with my cousin and my other cousin, the latter of which was forced to participate, but we won't talk about that. You mean my my little We're shooting improv videos wearing our mom's old clothing on top of our own clothing and just seeing what happens. She'll be back tomorrow. Every once in a while, you'll hear me whisper instructions to my cousin because the directorial genes just cannot be stopped. You are gonna watch this, you are gonna love it. Thankfully, these things never saw the light of day. My mom's paranoia that someone would find me and kill me prevented that. Next up are the good old YouTube music video days that kicked off in 2010. Hold up. Hold up. Most kids might spend their money on toys or whatever, but I spent mine on a green screen. Welcome to my silly life. The videos and the deals and the Let's not forget when Brian Adams gave me my first and only copyright strike, which still scars me to this day. And no, I'm not putting the song in here. Why is this curse? <laughs> I rebranded as Steph is Milk in 2013, adopting the vlogging format and trying, but mostly failing, at weekly content. Hey there, and welcome to Milk Mondays. I'm Steph, and today we're talking about how we got here. Basically, everyone at my school knew about these videos to the point where even faculty was pestering me for content, almost all of which was shot in this exact room. Through all this, I'm taking every opportunity I can to turn a school assignment into a video. Almost unnecessarily so. Working real hard. And then I hit university. And things changed. We're gonna catch up. I posted a few videos in my first year, but after that, my channel essentially died. All right, that's it. That didn't mean I wasn't making content, just that what I was making was focused on school assignments, which were mostly narrative comedy shorts. I'm gonna get some nachos. You want some? I can't. I saw your ad online. I don't know what that means. Did you cut the thing? Did you cut the thing? Is the microphone on? And everything else was family based, like the early montage. After university, I attended a one year post grad program for film and television. Camera's rolling. All my time was devoted to making films. It was the first time I worked on productions that had a real crew. I'm talking upwards of 30 people, which I know in perspective is actually a small crew, but it was big for me. To play just one role and play it well, rather than juggle everything, was new to me. Obviously, my favorite role was directing because, well, I will say cut, okay? Bring it. And like that when I run the door. Ignore the right. Mark it. Some things never change. And now I'm here. It's a new year, new decade. It's a new channel. Still the same aforementioned bedroom. And you may be wondering, since you've done all this, what are you gonna do now? And that is a great question. The answer is whatever I want. Right now that's looking like digital shorts, maybe some vlogs, definitely anything featuring my dog Maya, who I can't believe I haven't shown this entire video. I'm so sorry. You nice and cozy. The moral of the story is I'm Steph, I'm filming, and thanks for watching. Till next time. Roll the title.